Hello everyone, it's Katrius here and I welcome you to another episode of Library of Ruina. Last time we failed against Pluto and this time we changed things up a little bit and first off that is we've got John here who has Pierre's page with speed 2. <laughs> this feels incredibly stupid. So uh, I still have to put a deck in this but it's just gonna be very bad cards. Uh, it's just gonna be Mm. Yeah, you can take this. It's just gonna be this. And the only reason why we use Pierre's page of speed 2 is so that we can give Pierre three of the contracts we really do not want to play with. And Pierre is the page with the lowest health that also has no chance of rolling a 1 on the speed die. Uh, this is basically a, this is my definition of, of cheesing. I could have gone for the uh, red pages or something lower than that, so uh, for some of these, but these all have a chance to roll one, like up until, oh yeah, Yoon, also, Yoon could also roll lower, but Yoon also has more health than, um, than Pierre. We've got these buckos, and then we've got these buckos, and... It really starts coming with, with Pierre. Like, Jack has 50 health, Pierre has 44, so I took Pierre for that. So yeah, we've got Pierre with 44 health, um, sitting on the speed 2 from Eugen. That's basically... It feels so dumb, but... That's basically what we're dealing with here. And other than that, we've got all of those guys. Uh, they're kitted up pretty normally, I would say. Uh, do you have, you do have Keeping in Stride, you do have your two. Uh, I changed this deck to be mainly a um, block, so I want to give him the light guy, the, the light thing, and hopefully this will not kill us immediately. Um, he takes the light thing, John takes whatever we don't want to have, which is probably a few of them, and the others are, are just there to make uh, the play easier for us. Uh, Nikolai to give us more strength, Shao to give us more uh, strength, and Sanchez to give us more ability to fight. Because with, uh, as I saw, the Shades will not be using the uh, the passives. Well, they'll have them, but they'll not use them. So I might as well use them myself. That is the plan for this one. Sadly, we cannot attribute any of these. That would have been based. I should have used worse pages for Bina and better pages for Hawkma, so I have a safer par uh, path going forward. Because I don't think that the shades actually go for strategy, they're just big. But enough from that, let's just go in and hope that we will di not die this time. All right, we have talked about this a lot. It is very weird to see to see someone with three dice here. That's that's incredibly funny. But yeah, we didn't roll a one. We couldn't roll one. We we did roll two two, so it's already a good idea that we did this. Okay, contract of light to go to Kokma. Uh, contract of might. Could also go to Kogba because he only has one offensive die maximum on his guard stuff. So he can take those two. Okay, you definitely go here. You're also definitely gonna go... I don't really care about swiftness. I kind of want Hawkma to be able to use mass attacks, and mass attacks count as one-sided. No, I don't want it here. Uh, you go here. Mm. And you can also go here. Then Kokma goes... You take that anyway, and then you also take this. That should work out perfectly for me. And since I don't really care whether, uh, uh, whatever John does, 
I can just keep doing it like this. Oh! It doesn't use the basic pages, that's good to know. Yeah, I don't care about John being attacked. Uh, we do have to use all of our light this time. So one of my main strategies here is to make sure that Hawkma gets as many block procs off as possible. We are already kind of ensuring that. So this says uh, gain two strength. We don't really get the strength, but we only have one offensive die usually. We only have one on, on Iron Wall, which is fine. And this is take damage equal to 10% from max HP every point of light remaining. Which obviously we do not want to trigger, but it might happen anyway. And we use Iron Wall because Iron Wall grants us more uh, defense. I'm thinking of putting this somewhere. Putting this here. And putting this here. Now you don't really matter at all. They can just attack you, I don't care. I really don't. Mm, you can go ahead with drawing a card. One thing I want to avoid is to go to phase 2 too quickly. Oh, that's a big page. That is a big page. We gotta clash the same page. And hope that we win. Okay, Venomous Fangs can go here. And... Wedging Fawn. Oh. Gale Kick can go here. Actually, you get one... You get one Pierce Strength, so it's a six... It's it could roll for six. Nah, I don't want I don't want to risk it. The other page is a little too strong. Oh, apparently they do use the passive. He did use gone. Good to a uh, no. You go here and this clashes somewhere. Okay, you can also just go. Concentration here. And Grace with Ras literally anywhere. And you honestly don't do anything. Actually, you could just uh, go ahead and use stuff to make sure the others don't get attacked. Yeah. So we can use you as a is something a little bit longer. Yeah, you should be able to defend all of that. And we of course lose our clashes, which is uh, the classic Nico. Yeah. That's how this is supposed to go. Now we can get lean bloody wings on Aqua. And we only have one enemy that does the, the strong thing, but they, he completely targets our uh, our pin, so we don't really care. We do get attacked on Kogma, which is great. We go here with Beyond. The other Beyond can go literally anywhere. 
Uh, hmm. We can just laceration to go strength. Can lay us laceration here. And make sure that this one dies. With uh Yes next prey, you have two plus two strength, so why not? You can just use Ginny wanted to but fiery walls works as well and be she to make sure that this one really dies uh you'll do battle command oh wait no this gets counterized this doesn't matter at all so we can just take this turn to get more defense Get more charge. That's pretty nice. Looks good. Let's go. And yeah, that's basically how I plan to uh, whittle Pluto down. Yeah, John's dead. That's how I planned it. Ooh, it's a rather high roll, my man. That's what I thought. Really nice. Uh, hmm. Okay, that will be good. I don't think we actually deal stagger damage to Pluto. Thirteenth toll would be helpful if we get to the thirteenth uh, block die, uh, block page. So let's do it. Anyone attacking Hawkma? Yes. Yes, two people are attacking Hawkeye. That's big Ginny. You go here. And here. You have one left. In that case, we have to use Iron Bolt twice. This will win for sure. So we clash Ginny with another Ginny. But we will lose that clash. I am actually 100% sure we will lose that clash. Okay. We go here to make sure he doesn't attack too many people we don't want him to attack. And you can go with an endurance route because I will want to die. We will need to we need to clash with this thing somehow. Use B she there. But can we also use B she here? That'll suck though. Do have any counter dies, eh? Whoa. Let's go. As I suspected, we do not roll high enough.
Okay, this does not look too bad. Uh, hmm. Confession is great. Yeah, come on. Let's just have a star. That's good. In that case, we can go here. We have to make sure that we actually clash with the non-range die. So magic missile doesn't really favor us to clash with. Also, we have a metric fuck ton of, uh, of endurance right now. Five endurance is really big. We can get, even go uh, further and actually use this. Okay, you can use battle command here. You can use your final thing. Not gonna lie, uh, the fact that we don't I don't have to look at the contracts alone because these uh these don't really have a consequence for me. That fact alone is helping me out so much. Okay, you go here because I do want the that one dead. Then you can go oh no. Change of plans. It will not, it will probably not hit, but we can try. And you can select your spear. And if you really want to, you can still extract fuel somewhere. Very nice. Yep. Yep. That works pretty well. But unfortunately, we uh, went to the second phase. Okay. And then it would be great on Hogma if he didn't completely restore light anyways. And I, I do want to use Nostalgic Sound even though it turns off the music every three turns. Uh, we don't use this. We don't really have... Oh, actually, let's use this. Summon a shade of a librarian trapped in a barrier next scene. Trap a target in a barrier next scene. Since you're still level 3, the only one who is still level 3, this is very bad. But at the same time... to make sure that I do the math right. Deflection is melee, good. Then we take, yeah, three iron walls. Take this here and we take another iron wall here. So we clash with everything except that. Uh, 
since this happens anyway. Then we can at least make sure that uh, we deal a lot of stagger damage to him. Since we will be doing that this turn. Everyone else just concentrates on the strong die, on the die we don't interact with. Burning him doesn't really do anything, but it's better than, do than doing nothing. We keep that one. No, that was the wrong one. We deal a lot of damage via Bleem Bloody Wings this turn anyway. Okay. Very nice. This is looking incredibly good. Okay. You are trapped, right? Yeah. Do I even care? Because at this point, did you just take damage from burn? Yo, Jesus Christ, you take damage from burn now. I don't, I don't really care about any of this. What's that, by the way? Okay. Because quite honestly, it doesn't affect me at all. Oh wait, you have nine light. We can actually. We actually can. We actually can. Okay. In that case, do we have enough for luck? We do have enough for another mass attack. We can use Son of the Stars again. Which is massive. You sit out for the next time. You have seven endure. I don't even know where you get that much endure from, but you have seven endure. Let's go. And Pluto's dead. That's it. We did it. My my speed to Jack with the contract realignment really did the trick. It wasn't Jack, it was Pierre. As soon as I don't have to think about the contracts, this fight is easy. This fight is just easy. Also, bl Lean Bloody Wings and Block Mars just OP. Yeah. Looks like we just did it. Looks like we just did it. Man. <laughs> I can't believe he did it. Alright. Only one left. Only one left. Can we give you any passive we want? We can't. Ooh, this makes things different. Oh, boy. So I cannot give you the passive of uh, the man.
But we can give you Blood Fiendish. We can give you uh, Locked Potential. And Raging Torrent. But all of that... Oh wait, what, one thing I want to probably equip is... Because we know Argalia, right? Argalia is immune to ranged attacks. So one thing I want to give you is... Uh, Quantum Leap. Or Dimension of Sections, even. Dimension of Sections is probably a better idea. Yeah. So, if we hit, we can at least possibly deal 10 damage to Argalia with Rage Pages. So, I, I'm gonna think something interesting up. Uh, I hope we'll get to it in the next episode. But yeah, we did it. We defeated, Blo uh, we defeated Pluto with Blockma. I kinda cheesed it. I, I kind of really cheesed it, but hey, it worked, so I don't care. However, I see you guys in the next episode, and until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Bye-bye!